Hey, Rick St. John with WildPhilippinesTravelAgency.com. Today we're going to be taking a tour with our sister company, Manila City Tour, and we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Chinatown Manila. Uh, here we're looking at the uh, Welcome Arch, and this is the entry into Chinatown. This is the uh, Benando Church, which is the Chinese Filipino church. Absolutely beautiful church, by the way. This is the uh, bell tower. This church was built um, uh, to help the Chinese who were converting to Roman Catholicism. Uh, this church was built uh, at the turn of the century uh, for them. And you can see here by the inside, it's just an absolutely beautiful church. When you walk in the entry, immediately to your right, there's a huge... Uh, crucifix there with a image of Christ on it and the ceilings have very ornate uh, paintings absolutely beautiful all throughout the church you'll find uh, different statues of saints you'll see some statues of uh, uh, Christ okay and this is outside the uh, church area uh, outside on the street and what you're looking at there is the uh, Chinese uh, fire department. That's their fire truck, the purple one there. Okay, and here's the uh, Chinese museum, which is uh, called the Chinoy. Uh, and this is when you walk inside the building. This, this sign uh, is at the entryway there. And when you first walk in, one of the first things you'll see is the genealogy chart for Jose Rizal. Um, you'll see beautiful uh, uh, reproductions of ships like this that um, indicate how the Chinese uh, came over to the Philippines. You'll see nice uh, wax figures of uh, Chinese people. Uh, for example, uh, street vendors like what you see here. And incidentally, many of the things uh, in the Philippines uh, the street vendors, different foods like uh, Sha Pao and Sha Mai, those are all Chinese foods and those were brought here by the Chinese. And you can see that today in the Filipino culture here. A lot of the culture uh, revolves around the uh, Chinese culture. Also the farming, a lot of farming techniques were taught to the Filipinos on how to uh, plant rice and do things differently and more efficiently. And that, that all came from the Chinese. Here we see uh, a nice image uh, of a Filipino lady cooking, uh, preparing a meal. For example, pancit came from uh, China also. And then here we see uh, Jose Rizal. Again, he has Chinese heritage. Okay, here we're out on the street. Um, this is Onping Street in Chinatown. It's a really cool area. You can do a lot of different shopping down here. Um, there's a lot of different stores. So if you want to do some shopping or look for souvenirs, this is a great place to do it. There are a lot of great restaurants down in here if you want to eat some authentic Chinese food. Uh, even the fast food stores uh, serve really excellent and authentic Chinese uh, dishes. Inside the store, many of the Chinese stores, they'll have a small deli where you can buy uh, different Chinese uh, foods and take that home with you for cooking. And here we see the uh, Chinese cemetery. The buildings here are really beautiful and they're very well kept. This whole area is very nice to come and visit. Uh, and you can take photographs, but not inside any of the uh, mausoleums. Look, if you're going to be in Manila for a few days, we highly recommend taking the Chinatown Manila tour. WildPhilippinesTravelAgency.com, the name you know with the service you can trust. We're one of the most respected and trusted names in Philippines travel. We offer the best packages at the best prices, guaranteed.